Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Char Kirk. What's up? We're looking at The Big Bull, the official trailer. This is starring Abhishek Bachchan, Eliana de Cruz, Nikita Dota, Soham Shah, Ram Kapoor, Supriya Pathak, Sarab Shukla, and Mahesh Mandrakar. Uh, this is directed by Kuki Gulati. And it's produced by Jay Devgan and Anand Pandit. Ooh. So, um... Any guesses what this is about, LaJabs? The stock market? Yeah. Okay. I think it's basically the whole Scam 1992 story, but in a movie. But in a movie. We can do anything in this country. We can use the promoters. We can give the police. We can give the media. We can buy the people. जानकारी हासिल करके दाव जो सीक्रेट इंफॉर्मेशन इकट्ठा करके तो मार्केट में इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हो इसे इनसाइडर ट्रेडिंग कहते हैं सॉरी गेट अ लोअर इट जब बेस्ट क्वालिटी का मिलता है देखो जब हेमंत इंबॉर्ड होता है तो कुछ ना कुछ तो होता ही है लेकिन इस बार मैं आपको बता देता हूँ पंप फटने वाला है पंप यस मुझे वैसे पैसे के बारे में पता है पूरे 565 क्रोस एंड आई एम डूइंग अ स्टोरी ऑन इट आपका स्टेटमेंट चाहिए मेरे शेयर की वैल्यू कहां तक ले जा सकता हूं आपका शेयर इतिहास बनाएंगे लिख के दे सकता हूं मुझे पर काटना अब तुम गिरने की आदत डाल लो हेमंत मैंने शेयर को इतना बदलता हुआ पहले कभी नहीं देखा इट्स लाइक इंडिया इज न्यू बॉम्ब मेरे आइडियाज़ के लिए मुझे इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट की नहीं पॉलिटिकल सपोर्ट की ज़रूरत है। हम्म इनमें से कोई तो है जो हमारी सारी सीक्रेट लीक कर रहा है कपड़े उतारों ओह शिट व्हाट वाज दैट अबाउट अपने भाई को कि बहुत ऊंचे उड़ान भर रहा है तो वो भी बिना पैराशूट के लेकिन एक दलाल दलाली है ना हेमंत भाई कोई टिप भगवान से भी ज्यादा पैसे हैं हमारे पास डर है कि वो वापस करेगा और फिर रुकेगा नहीं आस्को इस सब का ये मतलब है कि इट्स योर वर्ड अगेंस्ट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर तुम्हें तो सच पता होना चाहिए इंडिया का पहला बिलियनर मैं बनूंगा it's very very interesting to see a film adaptation about a show that's already out i wonder like if this came into development after the show was released or if it just happened to be at the same time and they delayed the release of this film to put some space between that show premiering and this film coming out because yeah, that no happens idea. sometimes. Like yeah. Capote, the movie, there was like two films. Like, uh, is it Capote? In Infamous, it? like there was two films at, at the same time. I think it was called Capote, or I can't remember. Infamous is the is is one version with um the guy who overdosed on heroin from. Uh, Philip Seymour Phil, Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman. He was the star of one version, and there was another movie of the same character that was being developed at the exact same time. It happens a yeah. lot. And it's so, like the zeitgeist or yeah. the collective consciousness kind of goes, this is the story. Right. I think they, they put space between the release of those two films as well with um, Wyatt Earp and Tomb Tombstone. They're about the same dude. And so uh, Wyatt Earp came out later. Anyway, I'd be curious to watch both. Like, I obviously, we've only watched one episode of, of uh, Scam, Scam 1992. Yeah. I, like, and it was a very riveting episode. I want to I want to finish that series. We've just been extremely busy. I'd like to finish that and watch this and then compare the two. I'm sure that their approach is going to be very, very different because this is a much more compressed time as opposed to letting it breathe and being like, you know, nine or ten episodes. This is, what, two to three hours long. And so it's getting it all compressed into that time. And it's more of like a, you know, a very quick... Thing. Yeah, I mean, 
comparatively. Bearing in mind that we haven't watched the entire show. With Scam 1992, I guess there's just a different vibe. I guess the, the difference between something for a TV show and something for a film. I'm assuming this is a film. This big bull movie it seems more like glitzy and glam yeah and it's a movie yeah and i'm just kind of like i don't know it's also more of a budget there's something about it that i'm that isn't really clicking with me well i also somehow. lowered the audio so that maybe, probably if, maybe affected that's your it. ability yeah. to enjoy it as much whenever trailer companies put like the this copyright music in the film trailer it's like i have to lower the audio otherwise i end up running into issues sometimes the trailers get blocked because of the music and there's nothing I can do about it other than like chop up the trailer. So instead of doing that, I just lower the audio a little bit and hopefully we still get the the, the emotion out of it. We well, can watch the trailer again if you want. No, no, I think I think it's also just something in the way the character is being portrayed. He's kind of coming off as this very calculating, not very nice person. He's more villainous. He's more villainous in yes. this, and I think it's just kind of a little bit harder for me to get on board with him as a protagonist, because I need something. Like, you know when, well, you, when you're, you have... You're looking at the difference between Michael Corleone and Scarface, basically. So, Scam 1992 is more of a Michael Corleone situation where he's doing it out of a need. He's doing it because he has to because of circumstances. This feels more deliberate like Scarface. Right, maybe that's it, maybe that's it. And maybe I just wanted to see a little bit more of the progression, but it's a trailer. So they're selling us on the glitz and the glam of like what it takes to become India's first billionaire in a time when it seemed like anything was possible. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can bribe whoever you want, you can do whatever you want, just don't get caught. So I liked Ludo, and I thought Abhishek Bachchan was actually really good in that. Yeah. And so I feel like there is a possibility he's making better decisions because I know that his first few releases, I don't know if those stories were necessarily better or if it was just him. Right. But he seems to be making cool decisions. And so I'm gonna just like be optimistic, be like cautiously optimistic and go, well, maybe it's gonna be cool when you get there because of his performance. His performance is just inherent because he's a different dude. He looks yeah. totally different. His performance is inherently going to be quite different. And that in itself will be very interesting to see. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely giving off a very new and different vibe in this trailer. It's more aggressive. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think I've seen that side to him before. I mean, obviously, I haven't watched all his films or whatever, but this seems new and different to me. So, yeah, that is definitely yeah. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like in what we watched from the show, he was more reticent to make a move. He was more careful and tiptoeing as opposed to being like, no, we're doing this shit. Take all these people out, <laughs> you know? Take out yeah. your clothes, get in the pool. Who's someone's oh, that, lying here? That, that part, so what was going on there? Was it just because like if Someone they had was a, wire, a wire, yeah. then he would be able to see it and obviously then it would like, if you could sure. see it. Yeah. I mean, you would Th see that it. That would be the idea. Your clothes. That was an interesting scene. Um, yeah, I mean, that shows someone who's got a lot of power and has, you know, the ability to inspire fear in people <laughs> to get them to take off all their clothes and stand in the swimming pool. Well, ideally, you know, it shows him. I know it's a trailer, but ideally, the film starts out showing him more from his humble beginnings. Yeah. Ideally. Because you're right, the movie did emphasize more of his gangster attitude as he was moving forward. It feels like this is what a lot of industries sort of do to you, is it conditions you to be cutthroat with other yeah. people. Like the film industry is the same way. It's a very cutthroat industry. People don't respect each other a lot because it conditions you to be like that. Like everyone's just vying for that crumb that someone from the top is willing to give you. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not nice. I hope they show that transition because what, what was emphasized was the gangster stuff, like we said. I mean gangster in terms of attitude, by the way. Oh. Yeah, it's, it is that gangster thing, but in, and it's also glamorized too. There's this feeling of it being yeah, but that can't be helped. The fact that it's a movie, glam. unless you have just very sad music, and you're emphasizing the people trying to take him down as opposed to the character himself, it's gonna feel like it's glamorizing him. Just like Wolf of Wall Street, a lot of people accuse Martin Scorsese of glamorizing Jordan Belfast or whatever his name is. Uh huh. But the movie was just being honest. It was honestly showing it from his perspective. If you didn't like that movie, or you didn't like that it was glamorizing him, then you got a problem with the real dude, which is good. Right, yeah. You know, I would say likewise here. This has a significant amount of downvotes, and I can only imagine why. Uh, wow. I, would, I would imagine it has to do with the show, with Scam 1992 and the comparisons being made, although I'm not seeing that title pop up. Oh, here, Scam 1992. People are making that 
comparison a bit, but it's got 60,000 up so far and 8.5 thousand down, which is a lot of down votes. And I would imagine just because of that comparison, because if, if, if Scam 1992 had not come out and we just got this movie, I don't think the down votes would be nearly as significant. It's because that show exists. Yeah. And, it, and I don't know, unless someone tells me, if this movie came about because of the show or if it was if it just so happened they were making it at the same time, like uh, Tombstone and Whiter. Nevertheless, it's an interesting story. It deserves to have a show and a movie, like why not? That is actually a very, very interesting thing to do with a story because then you can see the two versions play out. I think that's actually fantastic, a fantastic experiment. Movies like Harry Potter, for instance, I would have rather seen them as a show. If we ever get a show of Harry Potter, it would be really neat to see how, if, how they expand on it, expand on the books, versus the compressed version that we got in the three hour movie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, I'd be very, very curious to watch both of these things back to back and to see what makes me feel more and what is more interesting. You know, this might have, I might love the glitz and the glam of Bollywood in this movie, you know, who knows? Until you've given it a fair shot, given both a, bit a fair shot, but who knows? Enough. Apparently, uh, I, 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 Carrie Manassi's Yalga was in the trailer. Oh, the lyrics. I thought I, the, I recognized the... This is the commercial version, apparently. The background music. Okay. Yeah. The It was... Um, yeah. I just don't like when copyright music is in the trailer for a significant amount of it, because then it ruins my experience as someone who does this thing. It's like, okay. That's fine if you're not gonna claim my video. If you're gonna claim my video, then I have to lower the music and it just ruins it for everybody, including me. I'm just like, all right, well, I can't hear much. I'm going strictly off the subtitles right now, you know? Uh, but yeah, I mean, it definitely gives that that mood of like, yeah. Gangster. Gangster. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. I'm Jabby Koi. This is... Achara Cook. Peace out.